Good day, Crime Talk aficionados. My name is Scott Reich, and this is Crime Talk. And as you can tell, we are on the road, but we're still bringing you a show. There was a hearing today in the Lori Vallow matter. Alec Baldwin settles the civil suit. Josh Duggar rhymes with hugger, is getting comfortable in prison. And then finally, our dumb criminal of the day. Let's talk about it. Good day, aficionados. My name is Scott Reich. This is Crime Talk. We are traveling today, but we're still bringing you the news of the day. You know the drill. Subscribe if you haven't. Like if you do. Leave me a comment and hit that little bell so you receive notifications of when you go live or put up new content. Additionally, you can always listen to us anytime by searching for us on any of your favorite podcasting apps. Let's get to it first today. Let's get to it. First, there was a hearing that was scheduled just yesterday by the judge in the Lori Vallow Chad DePell matters. Of course, did anybody else know about it? No. Was anyone allowed to attend other than the attorneys? No. It's probably a scheduling date to schedule a date. But since the court doesn't allow cameras in the courtroom and it takes sometimes days, if not weeks, before anything is actually published, other than an order stating that yesterday a hearing was set for today at 9.30 a.m., and as of right now, still don't know what's taking place. I bet it has something to do with the motion to continue filed on behalf of Chad Day Bell and the motion to stay the proceedings filed by Lori Vallow. We'll let you know when we know. Next on the docket, Alec Baldwin. We've talked about this case. Obviously, he faces potential criminal liability for the death of Helena Hutchinson on the movie set down in Santa Fe, New Mexico for the movie Rust. Well, there was a lot of civil cases and one of the most important ones is the wrongful death suit filed by Helena Hutchinson's husband. Well, for an undisclosed sum of money and some other things, possibly rights to the movie themselves, guess what? The matter has been settled. Well, why would it matter? It, the jury would never hear about it if criminal charges are filed, if there's a civil matter. Well, guess what? If you can control the victim and they don't want a criminal matter, best way to do that is to make them go away, make them happy. If you settle the matter, you don't have to do a deposition, which is your testimony under oath, which you are locked into uh, and then can be used against you, obviously, in the criminal proceeding. Now, anything that Mr. Baldwin has said can be used against him as a statement against interest by a party opponent. And so, you know, those interviews that he did with the networks, yeah where he said the gun couldn't have gone off. Well, guess what? The FBI has already refuted that and said, there's no way that firearm could have discharged, but for the fact that Alec Baldwin had pulled the trigger. We'll continue to watch this story as it develops. Next on the docket, Josh Duggar rhymes with hugger. Well, as you know, he was sentenced to 15 years in prison in regards to his uh, possession of inappropriate photographs of minors. Well, he apparently is getting settled in quite well. Heck, he's the father of seven. This is probably the most relaxation that he's had in a long time. And he gets to hang out at the federal facility near Dallas with basically a bunch of other sexual offenders. So he is chilling it. Look, he's grown a beard, yucking it up with the boys. He's enjoying life. Now, he did also file an appeal basically saying, Judge, I'm innocent. I didn't do it. It was my coworker that had all those images on my computer. Please don't let this uh, injustice uh, continue. Let me out. We'll see how that appeal goes. Somehow I don't think he's going to get much relief. And next on the docket for our quick docket, our dumb criminal of the day. Well, the suspect is from Chicago. And over the weekend, he decided it would be a good idea to bring the party to a jewel grocery store in Elmhurst. Now, I don't think it worked out the way he expected. It seems like a wasted buzz. So the candidate for the dumb criminal of the year here is 60-year-old man named Lance. First of all, a guy with that name is not made to do time in jail. Second, he is definitely old enough to know better. He got arrested at 10.30 p.m. on Saturday night. He tried stealing some merchandise and was charged with retail theft. The suspect was able to be bailed out. Maybe he should have spent the night in custody. Well, less than 12 hours later, at 8 a.m. on Sunday, he was arrested again. The genius thought it would be a good idea to go back to the scene of the crime. I give him a little credit because he didn't try to steal anything. 
This time he was discovered in the restroom drinking and smoking. Perhaps he was a little confused and thought it was just a really small bar, I guess. Needless to say, he was arrested and now he is the dumb criminal contestant of the day. Congratulations, unidentified man from Chicago. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, not just a good day, and we'll see you next time on Crime Talk.